Hello everyone. Our special reading today comes from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come. Let them come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like little children will never enter into it. And he took the children up in his arms, he put his hands on them, and he blessed them. The thought let the little children come is very thought-provoking. We are in the year of our Lord, 2015, and today marks the first day of the month of May, the month we celebrate as Child Month. What words are best fitting to reflect on than the words of Jesus right here in this 10th chapter? Let the little children come. We're being taught by Jesus, it seems, how to care for children, how to love them, and just to be there for children. Nothing can be substituted for our presence, our protection, and our provision for the children that the good God has entrusted to us. It therefore becomes our responsibility to see to their training, to see to their safety, and to ensure that their needs are met. How sad, however, to note that the reports are not good in our nation as it relates to our little children. There are over 300 reported cases of murders in our, in our island and over 26 of these happen to be children. Yes, little children who have been murdered in this island since the start of this year. And there are numerous other cases of abuse, I can tell you, and neglect. The word of Jesus must still be heard and must be heeded. Let the little children come. Let the little children come could be interpreted as let the little children live. Let them live to discover their full potential and to understand the purpose of life here in this world. Let the little children live so that they are the future, because rather they are the future of the nation. In them are nation builders, I believe. In them are world changers and the hope indeed for transformation in a world that has become desperate for the dawn of a new day. Like Jesus, can we take children up in our hands? Can we hold them up simply to be there for them and say a prayer and as it were bless them? Can we, like Jesus, make a promise to be faithful in all our undertakings with the gift of that child or those children and make a pledge to God, who is the giver of that gift, that you will make it your duty and you, you will make it also your sacred responsibility to bring them up in the nurture and in the admonition of the Lord? How can we forget Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 4 that reminds us how we should bring them up and how God expects um, great things from us as we seek to, like him, look out for the little children and ensure that we, we do the honorable thing so that they understand why they are here and that they understand where they will go from here. May God grant us 
the strength and the wisdom and the enabling to ensure that we bring children up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord.